Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Highlander XLE in the color black. Let's take a look. Starting up front here underneath the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 295 horsepower, 263 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 5,000 pounds. Up front, LED headlights, custom rated determining lights, fog lights down below. On the side here, we've got the 18 inch alloy wheels. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals and a blind spot monitoring. On both of your front handles, you'll find these two double lines. We'll talk about those more on the driver's side. Moving back, all of your rear windows come with factory tinting, and up top we have silver roof rails. Approaching the back on the bottom right-hand corner, you have your XLE trim level badge. Down below, you have your hitch receiver. Left-hand side, you have the Highlander badge. And then underneath your rear logo is your backup camera. You'll also notice this little button. If you give this guy a little press, it will pop open your rear windshield. You can use the little handhold underneath of your windshield wiper and then lift up to open up the space inside. Allows for easy access to anything you have inside of here or if you have something in your cargo space that just doesn't quite fit within the confines of the space, you can have it pop out the back for a little bit. To close it up, just reach up to it, pull it back down into its beginning position. To open up your rear cargo space in full, reach underneath of your logo and press the button and it should automatically rise up for you. Looking forward into here, we'll have both your second and third row seating. Both of these have 60-40 splits you can see on the left hand side, allowing each side to work independently, such as how we have the third row with the left side laying down flat and the right side sitting upright. Either way, this can be achieved by releasing this little string handle on the top corner of the seats that will release the trigger to go both up and down. We'll take a look at the controls for the second row seats when we get up front there. In the back for the third row, there is plenty of cup holder and storage space for them to use. And then all throughout the back, you'll notice this Toyota branded rubber mat liner across the cargo space and the third row seats. This first off is much easier to remove and clean any dirt and debris off of versus that typical clingy carpeted interior. It'll also help protect your vehicle from damage from your cargo, protect your cargo from damage from the vehicle. Now, if you look to the right hand side, you'll be able to find your interior lighting. And if you're looking for your spare tire kit, look down at the ground. Underneath of the mat, you'll find a little fabric strap. Lift that guy up. Everything you need will be stored right underneath. We also have the interior cargo cover all the way across there. There is a little display showing you how to access it. And then you can access your spare tire through this porthole. Again, there is also a little display in the back showing you how to do that. Aside from that, you can use this little underfloor storage for a little bit of hidden storage space, if you so please. To close up your space here, you can reach up to your handle on the right hand side or just press the electronic button on the left. Next, let's take a look at the inside. Inside your interior upholstery is the tan leatherette with tan stitching. On the sides of the seats is where you'll find your adjustment to be able to move your seat back and forth to gain easy access to the third row or to lay it down flat in order to extend your cargo space forward. Looking inwards, you have access to the folding down armrest slash cup holder. This, of course, can easily fold upwards to increase the seating capacity. Looking forward on the back of your front passenger and front driver's seats, you have pouch storage. Back of your console is where you have your third zone air conditioning control panel. Through here, you're able to control the temperature, mode, and fan speed for your second and third row occupants. This can also be controlled from up front. Take a look at that when we get up there. And then down below, you have all of your charger ports available through that space. You got your storage spaces inside your door, power window control, and your built-in sunshade. This guy unlatches, rolls all the way upwards, and then locks in all the way up top, helping to keep the sun out of everybody's eyes without impeding on the view. You can easily unlatch, go all the way back down, and go flush into your door frame. Back again to these two double lines. These guys indicate keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here to lock and unlock the unit. Inside the driver's door, we've got power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls, storage levels up and down. Then inside, you have power adjustable seating, back front up down lumbar support, as well as your underneath support up top. You've got your hood release and your gas release in the bottom left hand corner of your dash. On top of that, you have a little storage compartment. Then the defrost for your rear windshield wiper blade, automatic headlamps, automatic start stop, and power trunk release. 
On your steering wheel here, black leather with black stitching. Left hand side is where you've got your volume and hands free communication as well as radio controls. Right hand side is you, you've got the dash controls up top and then your cruise control down below including the sonar and delay and departure controls. Up top you've got your clock and then you've got your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently you're looking at the customizable home screen. Through here you're able to access the built-in navigation screen, fully touch sensitive as well. Then for your audio listening, you have AM, FM, and satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity, optional adapters for USB and aux, and you can see you've got the CD player up top here. And then in all of your general apps, you have your navigation, audio phone, message, eco setup, and maintenance. The setup is further specifics, general home screen, voice display, Bluetooth, audio phone, driver speakeasy, navigation, driver setting, and your vehicle. Top left is your volume, top right is tune scroll, radio controls on the right hand side. Underneath, push start ignition and your four ways, defrost for your front and rear windshield and side mirrors, and then you have climate control center in the middle. Dual climate control up front here for the driver and front passenger, so that means that each of these are able to be controlled independently, or you can sync things up to have things work all in unison. You can have it synced up in quite a different variety for you, so you can have just the front synced up for driver and front passenger will the rear get to function independently. You can have all of them synced up the way they are. You can have all of them unsynced. They all work independent. Lots of options to make sure everybody is comfortable at all times. Then you have this nice storage compartment runs the whole way across your front dash. There's a little divider you'll notice on the right, which means that if you pop something in one end of it and you hit a corner, it's not going to go sliding all the way to the other side out of your reach. It will help keep things from moving too, too far. On the left, you'll also find this little porthole right here. This allows you to feed cords through from up top, down below, to where you have all of your chargers down below. So you can keep your phone safe and secure up top here with it charging without having things getting too in the way and too convoluted. Down here is also where you have your USB and aux chargers. Then you have your traction controls, snow mode, downhill assist, and diff lock. Then you've got your gear shift, your cup holders, and then your scroll controls for your front heated seats for driver and front passenger. Behind that is your console space, slides open both the top and the bottom here, independently moving tray in the back, charger options down below. Then right hand side, you've got the lockable glove box down below there. Up overhead, we have your sunglasses compartment, which also doubles with having this built in mirror. This way you're able to keep an eye on your rear passengers without, without having to use your rear view mirror to do that. You can use this for traffic, and this to keep an eye on everybody inside your vehicle. Whoop, there we go. One, two, and three are garage door openers. Got overhead lighting controls and controls for your moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for the Toyota Highlander XLE in the color black. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Onamal Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices, but us, yours.